do we got some news? Listen, I told you. I said it. I said it, and I have to, unfortunately, for the final time, have to say it again. We were correct. And um, it's, it's, it's an emotional roller coaster of emotions that we're all feeling today because the damn, the freaking, the bit, the, the fuck, the stingray's dead, dude. She's dead. Charlotte, the stingray has passed away. Rest in peace. May you ever live with our founding father, Steve Irwin. Okay. Uh, you know what I mean? She's out. She's out. five thou. We, it's just. We were bamboozled, okay? We were tricked. We were scammed. There was no crypto involved, but I know there was probably close to hundreds of thousands, maybe potentially closing in on millions of dollars worth of donations. But, you know, it's one of those situations where she's dead. The stingray's dead. She was never pregnant. It was never a situation that we were going to, uh, you know, uh, have, uh, resolved or even talked about again, because Charlotte, the celebrity stingray who was declared pregnant without a male early this year has died at the small aquarium where she lived in North Carolina. In a previous announcement, the aquarium called her condition, a rare reproductive disease. We are sad to announce that after continuing treatment with her medical care team and specialist, R. Ray Charlotte, passed away today. The Aquarium Shark Lab by Team Echo said on Facebook, Sunday night, we are continuing to work with her medical care team and research specialists. The Aquarium added that it is now temporarily closed, and it also thanked uh, Charlotte's fans for their support while we navigate this great loss. Listen, they knew this is it. They, we figured it out. Okay. We called some people. We did some digging. We did some investigative work and we talked to some people. Okay. We talked to like some people in the zoo industry and let me tell you what happens there. Okay. When animals pass away in public facing businesses, such as zoos and aquariums, if those animals are relevant to the public and their direct reasoning for being at the zoo, eh, they're not going to tell you immediately if the animal passes away. They will quickly replace the animal, or they will say that the animal's sick, or they'll take it somewhere else, or they'll say, hey, we're cleaning the tank, or whatever excuse they'll come up with. And then six months, seven months, a year, if not two years later, they'll announce the unfortunate passing of their animals in the zoo. So what we're assuming happened here is that A, Charlotte was never pregnant. B, they oh, they knew. They knew that she wasn't pregnant from the beginning. And she's been, I think she probably passed away back then in January. Like back when, in maybe February, January. I don't know. But all I'm saying is, if you go back, and you look at their uh, TikToks, all of their TikToks that we've all based all of this story and all this virality off of, they're all voiceovers. They're not, I don't think they're recording those scenes live. So they could have had that footage of the Stingray swimming around, the Stingray that you all waited in line for after the viral moment of the pregnancy announcement. That could have been a duplicate. Like, how the fuck do you know that the Stingray that you're looking at through the glass is the same Stingray on the shark? Like, come on, dude, it's a Stingray. We're not talking about a Joe Biden swap during the debate here. We're talking about a simple Stingray. It doesn't take more than two phone calls to get the same looking size stingray in a tank to fool people. If in fact, something may have possibly happened beforehand and then boom, it goes viral. Uh Oh, we've got a dead stingray on our hands because it's a disease. How do we spin it? Oh, we've got this ultrasound. What else do you do when you have a disease like cancer? You get an ultrasound. What else do you get an ultrasound for a pregnancy? Let's say she's pregnant. 
Oh, how could that be? There's one male thing in the shark. Oh, maybe there's a super rare disease. Who knows? They probably had no idea. They said it. They ran with it. It went viral. And then they cashed in on it. And I think if my conspiracy theory radars are correct, I think Charlotte's been gone and they've known and the whole thing has been a... Listen, I think, I don't know, Megs might have said it. Megs might have said it. We're not sure. It's one of those, like, it's crazy. I mean, everybody was talking about the stingray. We've got an SNL bit. There's an SNL bit. Charlotte, a round stingray that has lived for years in a North Carolina aquarium without a male companion, is pregnant, making people wonder, who's the father and how did this happen? Here to comment is Charlotte the pregnant stingray. <laughs> Michael, Michael, boy, do I have some news for you. You gonna be a daddy. What? <laughs> when did SNL, I guess SNL is not like there's, SNL has diamonds in the rough now, right? Like it's not funny anymore. We all agree. Everyone's on the same page that SNL is just like, there's a few episodes that we all kind of like remember. But as far as like, I, when no one knew about this. And I mean, it's a half big bit. I, I, yeah, I love it. Stop playing. <laughs> no, you stop playing. I, I'm a little on edge right now. All this attention this is a lot for me. Maybe this fame stuff is normal for you, but you do not want to be a famous animal. You've seen how they did Harambe, right? <laughs> That's right. Fair, but Harambe people are died. confused about how you got pregnant. Harambe died. Do you, did you see that? What are we doing? SNL predicting? SNL predicting the future. Harambe, RIP. Okay? Listen, what are we talking about? Charlotte, ah, oh, man. She had to go. She had to go inevitably. They couldn't continue. Oh, she's pregnant now for 12 months. She's still pregnant. Okay. We had to let that story just fade away. Why? Fade Do you away. know how insulting it is to have someone look at you and say, who got you pregnant? <laughs> I'll tell you who, Mr. Weekend Update and his latex allergy. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. <laughs> We're gonna stop with that, okay? <laughs> you know, some people think that you got pregnant via immaculate conception. Uh, yeah, it was immaculate in that you immaculated, then I immaculated three <laughs> times back to back. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Stupid. Uh, I mean, yeah, dude. We all we all knew there were lines wrapped around the building. Wrapped around the building. Why is everything a scam? Why is everything a scam, dude? Like, why is everything in this country a damn scam? Like, literally, we've got, like, we've got, we've got celebrities and influencers are still now, in 2024, we're hawking crypto coins. We've got, like, we've got literally, I was just at the party with, um, I was just at Michael Rubin's white party with Caitlyn Jenner, and she was, and I was talking with her and her beautiful girlfriend, and she says, she says, yes, you gotta get, you've got this crypto cord. They scammed me. Can you believe it, Levi? They scammed me. And like, and it's just these, and they don't even know it's 2024 and we're still getting rug pool, celebrity crypto scams. Everyone's involved. Like, it's why the news is fake. The debates are terrible. The candidates are dying. The, the, the zoo, you can't be trusted. You can't be trusted. 